What's going on, everybody? Toro Friday here with Future DDS. And on this episode of the DSC series, we have Victoria Wynn with us from Midwestern University College of Dental Medicine in Arizona, uh, Glendale, Arizona. So, Victoria, how you doing? I'm doing great. Good to have something to do during this time. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Thanks for taking some time out. You know, we do have a little extra time, but thanks for sitting with us and, you know, giving, giving us your perspective on your dental school experience. Um, so if you could, you know, just uh, if you could just reintroduce yourself, you know, tell everybody where you're from, where you went to undergrad and what you majored in. Uh, and also, if you took any, you know, gap year in between uh, undergrad and going to dental school, what you did during that time. All right. I'm Victoria Wynn. I went to Michigan State University. Um, I majored in human biology and um, I went right into dental school. So that's kind of something unique. Um, I wanted to just start school again, but we did have like a summer off. Um, unlike some dental schools, we started in the fall, like um, September or late August. So I had a good three months of summer. And then I also had my D1 summer that was a nice little break, but yeah, I went right into dental school. Um, well, nice. yeah, so I took the dad like the junior, after junior year of undergrad, and then I spent senior year interviewing and deciding where I was gonna go. Got you, got you. So speaking of the DAT, um, you know, when you were preparing for that, what was your number one tip or tool that you used? You know, if it was a resource or, you know, if you have any suggestions or, or advice for anybody out there preparing for that? Yeah, sure. So I used Dat Destroyer, um, Chad's videos, and Crack the Dat. Um, out of those three, my favorite was probably the Dat Destroyer. Okay. It, um, it kind of had the same kind of difficulty level from the real Dat after I took it. That really helped me out. Um, and Chad's videos is really good at explaining, but there's only like a couple of things you can use that on. Yeah. Uh, Crack the Dat was kind of easier or not as hard as the real debt so I felt a little underprepared using okay. that I would say yeah. got you got you so you know speaking specifically for Midwestern do you guys have any type of uh pre-dental programs or feeder you know enrichment programs that you have for prospective students whether that be a, a pre-dental day or like an impressions day or like even a um, master's feeder program yeah absolutely they do a lot of that uh pre-dental stuff they have like uh like a master's program too. And they let the dental students come in because a lot of them are trying to get into the med school mm -hmm. or the dental school. Um, at Michigan State, there was also a pre-dental club and they held like mission trips and volunteering opportunities. So I was a part of that yeah. along with um, Vietnamese Student Association and my sorority. So I kept pretty busy and I think that looks really yeah. good on your, um, on your application too, to balance all those things together. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, you know, when you were actually applying to school, how many schools did you act, did you end up uh, applying to in the, in the end? So, I when I applied, I actually picked like ten schools, okay. but I a lot of them had like secondary applications and extra fees. So, I actually only ended up following through with maybe six or seven of them. Okay. So, I probably should have thought more when I was doing the application part, but I was just kind of like. I don't know what goes on to be. I'm just going to try yeah. to get into one. So I picked so many, but yep. I kind of wasted a little bit of money that way. Mm -hmm. Cause I only followed through with a couple, like six or seven. Got you. Got you. So how was the, the actual interview there? You know, how was the interview day <laughs> and the flow of the interview and, and kind of how you felt? Yeah. Um, it's really good. They do the interview at the very end of like a seven hour day, which is nice. Cause then you can like calm your nerves and get to see the whole campus and the right. faculty and, you know, that all factors into your final decision. Um, the actual interview itself is only like 25 minutes. So it was pretty short and I didn't think it was hard. Ask like basic questions for the most part. Um, what are your hobbies? They just really want to get to know you. Mm -hmm. uh, they did ask some ethical questions like, uh, what would you do in this kind of situation? So that might be a little tricky, but it's not something you can prepare too much for so right. that way you can really be yourself you don't really have like a set answer in your head got you got you so after you know you finish up the interview you you go home you get to take a, a deep breath deep sigh of relief you know from from finishing up the interview and all um yes. you know after you get your acceptance how was it when you actually showed up for the first year you know how was that transition getting into dental school and how was it kind of everything set up for you 
Well, I was a unique case. I got accepted on my interview. So I think I did really oh, well. Nice. <laughs> they told me at the very end. Yeah, I was so happy because then I could cancel all my other interviews. I don't, because I really loved the school. It was like the one for me. And I went on like two interviews before this and I wasn't sure. And it was after December 1st. So I, they were able to give me a spot right away. So mm -hmm. I was really glad I canceled my other interviews and holds. So um, after I got accepted, I can just relax senior year of undergrad and then I just um, kind of maintain grades and then in the fall I matriculated and um, it wasn't hard to transition like the people here are so nice mm -hmm. and the d1 curriculum is pretty easy not not to say like it's um, people who struggled or dumb or anything but right. they do like weekly tests here instead of a group of like finals where they give you a week off school to study. Right. So I actually really like the weekly test because it's really easy to stay on top of school and you're not as stressed that way. And gotcha. for me, I was kind of a fast studier. So I feel like the way they had D1 here year was really actually relaxing. Okay. It was easier than D2 year, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's surprising. I usually yeah. don't hear that too often. Usually D2 year is the year that, that gets everybody. <laughs> Yeah, they give us a lot of sim projects, like um, the plastic teeth projects, D2 year, and okay. they make you go to class more. So the attendance is more um, um, you mandatory. So D1 year, the basic science, we didn't have to go. Okay. So we could watch them online at like 1.5 speed. So that really helped. <laughs> but all, all the D2 classes were mostly dental, so they had mandatory attendance for those. Got you, got you. So how was... Uh... You know, how are you guys introduced into the preclinical classes? Is it just second year where you start doing all the preclinical stuff? Uh, and, and when do you guys actually start seeing any, any clinical patients? So uh, D1, you're in Sim Lab once a week, Monday. Mm -hmm. um, and then D2, you're in there like two, three days a week. So it's like definitely more. And they give you more projects because they expect you to work outside of school time too. Right. That's what kind of makes D2 um, more work. Um, and you don't start any clinical work until D3. It's like zero to a hundred because they kind of just throw you in, um, make you start working because, yeah. uh, you know, we don't start working on patients before that. Uh, we do each other's like profies and stuff, but okay. no actual um, restorative procedures or anything. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so, you know, um, this is kind of an interesting question just because I know you only have your one perspective of schools, but what is something you feel like uh, is unique about your school, you know, about your experience and, and what Midwestern has to offer. Gotcha. I actually think Midwestern has a lot of unique things. Okay. Um, one of the things is that they allow students to place implants. I know I kind of took it for granted. Um, I thought every school did, but I've been talking to some peers and no, you don't get to place implants at a lot of other schools. So I'm really taking advantage of that um, education here. So even though I want to be a general dentist, it's really good to know like how to do it. And maybe Definitely. if I choose to do it later on, I'll have a good basis about that. Um, and another thing was that you do get a lot of clinical experience. They were just telling us like a student from here graduates with a lot more crowns than somewhere else. I could be biased, but you know, I feel like we do get a lot of clinic because we're in there Monday through Friday, D4 and D3 year. Right. Um, and the technology is really good. Like we could, we have like lasers, we have the implants. Oh, so um, it is expensive. It's a private school and it's almost like a hundred grand a year. Right. But uh, you know, they, they do make up for that with really good dental technology and we're learning like some of the newest stuff. That's nice, that's awesome. Yeah, I really like Midwestern for those reasons. Mm -hmm. That's all. So, you know, um, the last question that we have, you know, just to wrap up everything uh, is if you can go back in time now and tell yourself, you know, the young version of you while you were still applying to school um, and, you know, kind of trying to figure out the whole application process and DAT and everything. If you could tell yourself any advice, what would that advice be? What I was saying earlier, like I was kind of blindly applying to schools on my application. So I would have kind of thought it out more or narrowed it down. I was just so set on, oh, I have to apply on June 1st because yep. they always stress <laughs> that in pre-dental clubs. So I was just like, oh, I'll apply to these 10 and it'll be fine. And then mm -hmm. I ended up wasting money because I never actually finished that application. And another thing, I probably would have studied a little more for the DAT. I kind of crammed it all into six weeks. 
because I wanted to enjoy summer. But uh, hey, no, I got where I am. I we made it here. Yeah, we made it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I got a 19, which isn't like the best, but I feel like I could have done better. So maybe I would have studied a little more if I went back in time. Got you, got you. Okay. Well, that that's going to wrap it up, man. Thank you again, Victoria, for, for taking some time out being with us. All right. Thank you. And you stay safe and healthy, okay? Good yep. luck with school whenever it starts again. Definitely. So I, if anybody, before we go, if anybody has any questions for you, you know, about Midwestern, about your journey or anything, like, would it be okay if, you know, you gave your Instagram for everyone out there to maybe send you a DM? Absolutely. I'd love that. Okay. So okay. I guess you can go ahead and, you know, say what your what is what's your uh your instagram handle my instagram is um v e e e e e okay v e e so it's just v v that's my nickname but got you all those e's in there okay we'll make sure we get all the e's right and put it down in this <laughs> description okay. yeah i know it sounds silly got you got you but thanks again on behalf of all the pre watching and tyler myself and future dds if you guys have any questions for us, Tyler and myself, head over to Instagram, follow us at underscore future DDS. Send us a DM there. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell so you know whenever we post up new videos and new content. But until next time, thank you guys. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks so much. All right, have a good